What's good YouTube, Akil here back with another video and today I'm going to be sharing some items that sold on eBay over the past few days and as you guys know I've been selling a ton of used electronics lately so I'm going to try to diversify the list just so you guys can see exactly what's selling for me so I'm going to throw in some clothes and some shoes and some stuff like that just so that when you guys are in some of these different thrift stores and garage sales you guys can kind of know what to look for so if you guys haven't already hit that like button, subscribe to the channel and without further ado let's get into it alright y'all so the first sale I have for you guys is this North Face duffel bag and this sold super quick I think I listed it the very next day that I picked it up picked it up for about 10 bucks from Goodwill and it sold within about an hour so I definitely should have listed this for a little higher anytime I sell items really quickly just lets me think that I probably listed it a little, a little too low and the thing is with this North Face duffel bag it was actually still available on the North Face website and I think they were asking like 130 and in the past 90 days there's been some sellers that sold theirs for like 60 to 70 bucks so I tried to price mine a little higher but I probably still left some money on the table so if you guys come across any of these North Face duffel bags definitely price it a little higher mainly because people are going to be traveling a lot more now especially since the pandemic is kind of on the way out a lot of people are going to be doing a lot more traveling and taking more vacations so luggage and just travel related items are going to be selling on ebay super super quick now so keep that in mind next up we got this apple wi-fi router and i used to sell a ton of these when i lived in california but i really don't come across these too often anymore and when i was selling these a couple years ago these were selling for like 80 to 90 bucks nowadays they're not selling for that much money Money, close to about $60 and I had to wait about a month for this one to sell but it is what it is I think I spent about seven or eight dollars on this one in particular and I'm just glad that it sold because like I said I had it for a little longer than I usually hold on to certain electronics and I just think the demand isn't as high as it used to be but considering the fact that I only spent a few dollars on this and was still able to sell it for 60 is all right with me next up keeping things going with the Apple related products we got this Apple iPod classic and I think this one is the fifth generation and it holds about 30 gigs and and this one sold for 65 bucks with free shipping once again and I originally had this listed for around $80 and it just was sitting no no watchers no offers nothing like that so I lowered the price and it sold within about a couple of days and anytime I have items that have no watchers or just like a limited amount of views I usually tend to drop the price I don't drop it super quickly this one I, I think I waited like 45 to 60 days until I actually lowered the price but like I said lowering the price actually helped convert the sale and once again I think I spent maybe seven or eight dollars on this item iPod and I'm just glad that it worked and it's one of those items that people tend to pass on when they're in thrift stores mainly because they think people aren't necessarily messing with older technology anymore but trust me there's tons of people that love some of these older stuff so you definitely got to grab it up all right y'all so next up we got this excision headbanger jersey and as soon as I seen this I knew it had to be worth something only because it was heavily embroidered and usually if you're dealing with like cheaper clothing the embroidery isn't going to be that thick but this one in particular definitely stood out to me and I seen and once I check the comps I was definitely blown away because like I said I wasn't familiar with this at all but I seen comps selling anywhere between like 40 to 60 bucks and since I was the only one on eBay with this one I did I listed it at the higher end for 60 plus shipping and it sold within about two or three days so definitely want to look out for some of these excision headbanger jerseys like I said I have no clue what excision headbangers about drop a comment if you guys are more familiar but like I said I just I just couldn't spot quality and this one stood out to me next up you got a pair of vintage Doc Martens and boots and these were actually made in England and I was able to sell these for 80 bucks plus $12 shipping and like I said I always pick up um, made in England Doc Martin boots only because regardless of the condition they always sell for a decent amount of profit and I think I spent 10 or 12 bucks on these boots of course with that additional 20% off as well and like I said so within maybe three to four weeks so not a super fast turnaround but still a really quick sale for me next up we got some of these smoke alarms from Nest Labs and this is my first time picking up any of these smoke alarms or selling any smoke alarms for that matter and at first I had these listed for I think 59 bucks a piece and I was also charging shipping but somebody sent me an offer they actually sent me a message because I wasn't accepting any offers on any items and they asked me if I would take 55 and basically just combine the cost of shipping for them and of course I just went ahead and accepted that and what I did instead of like sending them an offer or anything like that I just changed the price within my listing that way they'll have to pay immediately I had two of these and they and they wanted both of them so I was able to kind of save some money on shipping since I was able to bundle them together 
and it sold pretty quickly i think just within about a week so definitely a good sale for me next up we got a pair of new balance 574s and i picked these up from marshall's a few months ago i think i picked these up maybe in january when i first grabbed them up i think i had like maybe eight or nine pairs so i think it was 39.99 and like i said i sold some of these on poshmark i sold a couple on goat sold some on ebay and i'm finally all sold out of these and the main thing with this is that i just wanted to sell them for at least 100 bucks on ebay that way i wouldn't have to pay any fees and like i said i sold a couple on goat i think the ones i sold on goat sold for like 120 or 130 anytime i'm cross listing shoes i make sure that i put them up a little more expensive on goat because i tend to make a little more profit on goat and with shoes that are brand new in box so definitely keep that in mind keeping things going with the shoes we got a pair of nike air max pluses that i picked up from ross almost a year ago at this point oh damn when i first picked those up i think I think I spent 55 bucks on those and these finally sold for $84.99 so definitely not a ton of profit there I barely broke even Bruh. on these because it was 85 bucks with free shipping but it is what it is when I was doing a lot of sourcing from Ross yes I was making a decent amount of money and I was converting sales but it's nothing compared to what it's like now since my, my cost of goods is just so low compared to what it used to be for that reason I, I barely even go to Ross anymore but I guess at the end of the day it's a good thing because when I would go to Ross I would really just do a lot of shopping for myself if you guys uh, watch the channel for a while you guys will always hear me saying stuff like this is going to stay in the personal and i'm going to keep this jacket for myself or these shoes for myself so since then i've just been able to kind of you know not hoard and not keep a bunch of stuff anymore so at the end of the day i'm kind of glad i switched up my sourcing strategy and uh, i'm doing way more um goodwill way more thrifting and of course i'm trying to incorporate some more um wholesale orders and stuff like that so stay tuned for more videos on that next up and this one is a banger got a pair of kobe ad2s and i'll tell you guys a quick story about these shoes i actually picked these up in santa barbara when i lived out there in california last year well two years ago at this point and the manager at that Goodwill told me that Kyle Corver always used to drop off a ton of used shoes and, you know, clothes and stuff like that. He would drop off a ton of stuff every couple months. And the day that I walked into the store was the day that he dropped off a ton of things. So I was able to pick up like 10 or 15 pairs of Kobe AD2s, brand new in box. They were size 13 and a half and they're all like sample PEs. They were when he played, uh, when he played for the Bucks and when he played for Utah. So definitely like more related to those colors and I sold a couple pairs I sold I think one of them for like 300 bucks and I sold a couple for like 250 and this one sold for 175 since this one was this was one of the few used pairs that I was able to grab up and like I said they belong to Kyle Corver so I knew that would kind of give it a little more value now if it was like if it belonged to Mike Conley or somebody that was a little more well known I probably would be able to get a little more money for these and of course they're a size 13 and a half so that's kind of tricky as well but I still have a few pairs stacked up in my inventory and I'm just going to continue to wait until the right buyer comes along. And I remember I spent like 35 bucks a piece on all of those shoes. And last but certainly not least, this is definitely one of my biggest sales in the last few days. This is a New York Yankees Michelin Nash jacket. And I picked up a few of these jackets. I think I picked up six or seven jackets a couple weeks ago. It was in one of my previous trips to the thrift videos. And I spent anywhere between like 40 to 60 bucks on those jackets. And a couple of them are actually brand new. This one actually had the tags in the pocket. So I listed it as new other, especially since the condition was flawless. So I, I'd highly, highly doubt anybody wore these but like i said i listed it as new other and it sold for 215 i think i was asking 229 and i got a good offer at 215 so i just went ahead and accepted that mainly because i didn't i didn't think these would sell anytime soon i thought this would sell maybe closer to the fall and winter but i think people are probably just trying to get what they can get now especially while it's out of season because these michelin nest jackets retail for like five to six hundred dollars so this person still got a really good deal on these and like I said, shipped it out already. The buyer's happy, so it's all good. All right, y'all, that's all I have for today's video. So if you guys enjoyed that one, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Also, if you guys are interested in copying any of the consistency tees, it's the first link in the description. And don't forget to use code consistency10 for 10% off your order. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. I'm tight and now I'm